Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous. I'm happy to be here today with Minister Anand, Dr. Tam, and Dr. New. Right from the start of the pandemic, our government's top priority has been to keep Canadians safe from COVID-19. As we laid out in the throne speech on Wednesday, protecting people will continue to be job one as we move forward. And one of the best ways to do that is with a safe and effective vaccine. Our government has already invested in a strategy for increased screening and support for vaccine research and clinical trials. We've been guided by science since the very beginning. And right now, both the COVID-19 Vaccine Task Force and the Immunity Task Force are doing important work to help us identify the most promising vaccine options and strategies. Last month, I announced that the Government of Canada had signed agreements, agreements with Novavax and Johnson & Johnson to secure millions of doses of the vaccines they are developing. We've also secured agreements with Pfizer and Moderna. And earlier this week, Minister Anand announced that the Government of Canada has now also signed agreements with Sanofi and with GlaxoSmithKline to secure up to 72 million doses of their COVID-19 vaccine candidate. Pour enrayer cette pandémie, les solutions se trouvent dans le dépistage, la recherche scientifique et les vaccins. Nous voulons que les Canadiens aient accès à des vaccins efficaces et sécuritaires qui pourraient venir de partout dans le monde. Aujourd'hui, nous faisons un pas de plus dans la bonne direction. Nous nous sommes entendus avec la compagnie AstraZeneca pour le candidat vaccin qu'il développe avec l'Université Oxford. Si le vaccin est approuvé suite aux essais cliniques, le Canada s'assure d'obtenir jusqu'à 20 millions de doses pour les Canadiens. Canadians must have access to a safe and effective vaccine against COVID-19 as quickly as possible, no matter where it was developed. Today, I can announce that we've reached an agreement with AstraZeneca for the vaccine they are developing with the University of Oxford. This agreement secures up to 20 million doses for Canadians should the vaccine trials be successful. I know Minister Anand will have more to say about this in a few minutes, but before she does, I also want to talk about another measure we're taking on vaccines. This pandemic can't be solved by any one country alone, because to eliminate the virus anywhere, we need to eliminate it everywhere. That's why Canada is helping ensure vaccines are distributed quickly and fairly around the world by supporting Gavi's COVAX facility and advanced market commitment. Our government will invest an additional $440 million for the COVAX facility to provide doses around the world for Canadians and for people in developing countries. Up to $220 million of this investment will go directly towards securing doses for Canadians. This means this agreement will give us the option to purchase up to 15 million doses for Canadians. Aucun pays ne peut enrayer la pandémie à lui seul. Parce que pour éliminer le virus dans un pays, il faut l'éliminer dans tous les pays. Voilà pourquoi le, Canadien soutient, le Canada soutient le mécanisme COVAX et le système de garantie de marché mis en place par l'alliance Gavi. Cette initiative permettra à des futurs vaccins d'être distribués rapidement et équitablement à travers le monde. Je suis heureux d'annoncer que notre contribution au mécanisme COVAX s'élèvera à 440 millions de dollars afin de procurer des doses pour le Canada et pour les pays à faible et moyen revenu. De ce montant, jusqu'à 220 millions de dollars serviront à fournir des doses aux Canadiens, c'est-à-dire que cette entente nous donnera l'option d'acheter jusqu'à 15 millions de doses pour les Canadiens. As of today, we now have active cases in every single province with a significant increase in our four largest provinces. So please, everyone, keep following public health recommendations. Wash your hands, keep your distance, wear a mask, and download the COVID Alert app. What we do now will be critical for the weeks and months to come. The fight against COVID-19 is not over yet, and we must all continue to do our part. Our government is right there with you as we work to keep people safe while building a stronger, more resilient Canada.